All right, then, my friends. So in the last lesson, we put together this page right here, which was for the blog details. And we had these route parameters in the path. So in this example, it's five. But if we go back and pick another one, it could be one or two or three, etc. Now, this is good. But what if we were to land on a page with an ID of like seven, eight, nine? We know that doesn't exist. If we click on this, we're still going to get this component, but the fetch is going to fail and we don't have any data to show to the user in the browser. Now, in this case, instead of showing this blank page, maybe we might want to redirect the user to the home page where all of the blogs are again. So how do we do that? Where do we check that a blog exists, if you like, and if it doesn't redirect them? Well, we can do that if we go to the blog details page, which is here inside the ID folder. We can do that right here where we're fetching the data. And by the way, I keep saying I'm going to show you this um, log. Let me do that now. We did it for the index page as well. So let's go to the home page, home, right? Now, if I open up the terminal over here and go to our process, you can see fetching the data right here. And if we go to this one, I'll say fetching the blog details for this one, right? Save it. And if we go to a blog details page, then, okay, let me refresh first of all. Yep, if we go to a blog details page, then we can see fetching the blog details. So that's all working. Anyway, back to checking if this exists. And if it doesn't, then we want to redirect the user. Well, we're going to check that in between this response and data, because when we get the response, we have a property on that called OK. And if response.ok is true, then it means it successfully grabbed the data for us. If it's false, then it means it's not. And probably we don't have that blog. Now, if it's false, that's when we want to do a redirect because we don't have a blog. So we can say if response.data, um, response.ok, sorry, but we place an exclamation mark before that to negate it because only if this is false do we want to do something. So if response is not OK, then we want to do something. So I will say console.log, first of all, to say redirecting the user so we can see that in the terminal down here. But then after this, we want to throw a response and that response is going to come from up here. So like we extracted the params from this object, we can get something else, which is the response object. And we're going to throw a response dot redirect like so. Now inside this redirect function, we pass through a string, which is just a path to wherever we want to redirect to. So I could go to forward slash contact if I wanted to, that makes no sense. We'll just go to forward slash, which is the homepage. So now if a blog doesn't exist, then we're going to redirect the user back to the homepage. So let me go to the homepage again, first of all, refresh. I'm going to click on one of these. Yeah, that still works. Click on another. They all still work. However, if I go to one that doesn't exist, like seven, eight, nine, then it's not going to exist. But this time we don't get that empty page. Instead, it just says, OK, well, I'll redirect you then back to the home page because that blog doesn't exist. All right. And just to show you this in the terminal, if we take a look right here, we can see redirecting the user. That happened when we went to one of these pages that doesn't exist. So forward slash blog forward slash ABC doesn't exist. We can see redirecting the user and it goes to the home page. Awesome. So dead quick lesson. Just wanted to show you how we can redirect the user if something doesn't exist.